Hi guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to make a no yeast sandwich bread and it looks like this a lot of us are having difficulty finding yeast right now so I thought this would be a good opportunity to make a quick bread or sandwich bread without yeast so this is a very easy recipe you don't need a hand mixer there's no yeast, there's no proofing and it's so easy so I hope that you'll watch until the end and let me show you how I made this Let's get started. Okay, so let's start by mixing our wet ingredients and by soaking the rolled oats. So I'm just using an old-fashioned rolled oats. You can also use a quick cooking oats. And to that, we're just going to add whole milk. Yogurt. This is just a plain Greek yogurt. You can also use um, sour cream or a combination of both. So yogurt will give a really nice moist to the bread and at the same time it would help activate the uh, baking soda that we're going to add later. For the sweetener, we're just adding honey. You can also use other um, liquid sweetener like maple syrup or anything that you prefer but the, um, but the measurement will, will vary depending on what sweetener you're replacing it with. And then we have here just an egg. So the reason that we're mixing the oats with the, the liquid or the wet ingredients is because we want the, the oats to, to hydrate so that the bread doesn't turn out dry. So now we're just going to mix this. Just break the egg. And we're going to leave this to soak for about 45 minutes. That will give um, enough time for the oats to soften and to get hydrated then okay this should be okay so just cover this and set this aside and then after 45 minutes we're going to add the dry ingredients okay so while waiting for the uh, rolled oats to soak let's mix our dry ingredients let's start with a whole wheat flour and I have here all-purpose flour so I have set aside one third cup of a whole wheat flour. I'm not adding everything in the bowl. We're just going to set it aside. So if we need it later, we're going to add it. And then we have here the baking powder, baking soda, and salt. The thing with bread making is sometimes the amount of flour and uh, the liquid is not always precise every time. No, it depends on the uh, on the quality of the flour. Sometimes some flour needs more water or if your flour is old so yeah so we're just going to set aside one third cup and then we're going to add it if needed okay so so the only thing left to do now is to wait for the rolled oats to soak and then we're going to mix the two together okay so this has been soaking for 45 minutes already so now we can add our dry ingredients So remember, we did not use up all the uh, flour. I still have the one third cup set aside. So we're going to check the consistency, if we need to use it or not. If not, then we're just going to set it aside. So another, make sure that at this point, your oven is already preheated because as soon as we mix this this needs to go into the oven immediately that's because of the um, baking soda so it will start reacting so just mix it until just combine combined and no more uh, raw flowers visible but we don't want to mix it too much so for me, this starts to look okay. It seems that we don't need to use the additional one-third cup of um, whole wheat flour because otherwise, we're going to end up with a very tough uh, bread. So if in your case, you get a runny or sticky, you can gradually add the one-third, but don't add it all at once. Okay, so this actually looks okay to me.
So there's no more raw flour underneath. Okay, so this is ready. So I have here a 9 inch uh, loaf pan. And we're just going to transfer it. So I have it lined with the um, parchment paper. So I sprayed the bottom with uh, oil and then I just lined it. I find that it's easier to remove. Okay, so just right there. There you go. And then just spread it. So this is going to be a a huge bread. This could serve up to maybe six people. So I have um, some tips in the um, in the post on what you can do for the leftovers or how you can store this. So I can see now that the baking soda is reacting because I can see the bubbles. So so this needs to go into the oven as soon as possible. So we're just going to sprinkle some um, raw rolled oats on top, about two tablespoons. Okay, so let's bake this at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about uh, 50 to 55 minutes. Let's do that. So let's give this a try and cut it. So make sure that you have the bread cooled down before cutting it. So I had this rested for about 30 minutes. I'm just holding it. And look at that. It's beautiful. I'm just switching to a smaller knife. It's easier to cut. And you can see the uh, those bubbles. That's a good sign that the bread is uh, soft. 